What's up, everybody? It's Nerf for Jinsei. Finally, we got him. Baraka, the Dragonite Baraka, first guardian Baraka is here. And he is called Blood Moon. No, Black Moon. Sorry, Black Moon Baraka, which is a really cool name. Uh, I gotta say, his aesthetics I don't really like. Um, and I have to say, overall, massive disappointment, Baraka, unfortunately. Uh, let's get into it and see why he's such a disappointment. All right, so Baraka information fake core, get these stats, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, he grants a buff to wasted uh, to wasted red heroes. All right, plus one percent attack, one percent defense, six percent HP, and two percent uh, CP. Uh, if you look at the list of the heroes, that is. Baraka is really the only one that you actually use, aside from, you know, heroes that are required for special dungeons. So, this buff to Wasted Red Heroes at the moment is is nothing. Basically, it's a buff to himself. You can just consider it. He gives himself a buff of 1% attack, 1% defense, 6% HP, and 2% uh, combat power. And, uh, honestly, it's a weak buff. Uh, you know, it's like, meh. Well, it's like, cool, you know. Um, you know, everything helps, you know what I mean? I'll take that, but it's, it's nothing special, you know what I mean? It doesn't set him apart. Um, all right, so let's get into his actual kit. He's got final hit. Um, he has all of the, um, dragon scale passives and all that, that all the other dragon knights have, all the other first guardians have, um, which, you know, Obviously, he was going to have, but that's it. He doesn't have anything new. Okay. Um, then we've got his active skill one, his active skill two, also the exact same. Doesn't do anything new. Okay. Uh, very disappointing, honestly. I was hoping they do something different with him. Um, that being said, right, so far, only the rare, I mean, all the, um, the gold. The gold fake cores have gotten something special. Everybody else is just exactly the same. So, although it's disappointing, um, it, was, it was definitely um, foreseeable. You can see this coming easily. Um, however, what I did not see coming is that he is a blue fake core. All right. Which, I mean, blue is just a color, right? It doesn't really matter if it's blue, black, or gold. It matters like what they actually do with it. Um, but they didn't actually do anything with him aside from give him that random buff that he gives to all people from Red Wasted. Um, on top of that, they've decided to make it so blue Fate Core has 0.5% chance up and it requires 28 pulls, just like a gold Fate Core. I don't get this. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so far, I've never, I haven't had any complaints. Uh, when it comes to Exeter Heroes, when it comes to their banners or their, like, pay-to-win system, you know, their monetization of the game, et cetera, et cetera, you know, a new banner every single week. And then with FC Annie, they had two in one week. Basically, both were really good, um, right? That's a huge, that's a fast pace. So it's kind of hard to pull on every banner, but I haven't had any complaints, okay? Um, it's been fine. However, this is a complaint, right? To have two, okay, at all, like, first of all, to have two back-to-back -back banners where it's 28 pulls for the, um, for the pity and to have the, the lowered, um, chance of getting up to 0.5%, I think it's 0.7 for blacks, um, but... That is a disappointment, but the reason it's a big disappointment is because Baraka is not worth this. Okay, this this isn't this isn't worth it. Hundred percent, Baraka is not worth twenty eight pulls. Okay, um, but I feel like the way the reason that they did this and they felt they could get away with it is because it's Baraka, right? Baraka is amazing just as a regular hero and. A lot of people really like him, myself included. I've been waiting for him. I've been hyped for him this whole time. Um, so I'm really disappointed. I'm debating whether or not to pull for him. I'll probably pull for him because um, right after him is going to be Ramsey uh, or Ramji, if you want to call him that, I call him Ramsey. Um, 
And if we're going to follow the pattern, Ramsey is going to have this same, it's going to be the same as Barack. It'll probably be black, a black um, um, FC core, but when it comes to abilities, right, his abilities aren't going to be augmented at all. They're just going to be the same, most likely. Okay, not 100%, but most likely. And if you just look at his kit, it's not really that strong for PvP. Or PvE, like, it's not really that strong in general, right? And I already have Baelish, so I already have a, um, a dark Fate Core hero. So I won't be pulling on that. There's no point in my opinion. The only thing is that uh, Ramsey is a front line and Baelish is a back line. So I could have a dark hero in each row if I wanted, but meh. Alright. Um, over down here, it just goes into like the fake core fusion and, and stuff like that, which I don't really care about right now. Um, but let me just say that one huge disappointment that it's 28 pulls, right, with 0.5% chance to get them instead of, um, was it like 18 or 19 pulls with 0.7% for black uh, fake cores? That's definitely what it should be. Um, but on top of that, you know, he's just not worth that, if I'm being honest. Um, he will, honestly, if you pull him, he'll be great for Machine Day, okay? Obviously, he'll be great for Machine Day, help you get your special dungeons done. And honestly, Machine Day is one of the harder days of the week. So it'll really help you out PvE-wise. However, PvP-wise, um, won't be that strong. The other Baraka, I... I said this in a previous video, but um, because they didn't augment his abilities at all, and they all they basically all they did was slap on um, the Dragonite passes, the other Baraka, the other FC Baraka, the black one, is better for PvP. Honestly, I think it's better. Well, actually, PvE PV debatable, uh, but PvP wise, 100% better. Okay, and the reason why this guy isn't going to be that strong is because we've all noticed that um you know fc zeon came out and fc anna came out and they were just so incredibly strong pve pvp everywhere unbelievable and then maggie came out and baelish came out and you know it's like they're strong but you know they die kind of quick you know what i mean they're not nearly as tanky when you think about it um, and because the, the shield is based off, sh shield is based off defense, right? Just a second. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Grants bear 100% of own defense. Yeah. Um, the, the shield is weaker. And on top of that, um, it, because they have less defense it means they take more damage before they start stacking the shields you know so it's easier to one shot them or kill them before the shield stacks up okay now the biggest thing to consider and why baraka is not going to be that great is if you look at baelish regular baelish right his defense his base defense at level 75 is 670 okay maggie's the same I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, Maggie is 671. Okay. And Maggie also has 42, almost 4300 HP. Uh, Baelish has 3500. Okay. So that's why they weren't as good and they, they die a lot quicker. Okay. that And they have um, AoE, right? AoE is not a good thing. However, when you look at Baraka, okay, his base defense is 527. 527 that is so low that is so weak right that's like 150 less than Baelish right and if you think about how squishy Baelish felt when he first came out right it's like now if you put gear on him right he, he can survive don't get me wrong I mean he's still squishier than than Zeon and Anna but um not so bad but 150 less 527 base defense his HP, his base HP is 3,400. He's a squishy guy, okay? So even PvE-wise, I mean, he'll be good, but he'll, he'll still be a lot... He'll die a lot faster than the other Dragon Knights, okay? PvP-wise, even more so. Um, so, yeah, he's honestly not that great. On top of not being that great, 
28 pulls for Pity. Man. This is this is the only time um, since this game came out that I really have complained. Right? Like, I don't think the game's perfect. There are issues with it. But every game has issues. Right? And so you have to say, like, whether or not it's worth complaining about the issues. Right? Because... Just because it's an issue doesn't mean you have to complain about it. It has to be fixed. Because nothing's perfect. Right? Um, it's like, you know, you're trying to, like, find an apartment, right? And, I don't know. You don't, there's not leaking, right? Doesn't smell like sewage. But you don't really like the color of the pe the walls, right? They're, they're kind of like this beige color that you don't really like. Is that worth really complaining about? And be like, okay, I'm not buying this apartment i'm not getting this apartment no it's not right i don't know if that, that was like a terrible analogy i'm sorry <laughs> that was a terrible analogy but it's the best i can come up with at the moment but you know i haven't really complained about any of the issues because i don't think they're really that big um except for when dragon knights first came out and they were stupid overpowered it made pvp not fun at all it's a lot better now in my opinion uh but this is, this is unacceptable, in my opinion. He's not worth it, okay? But that's fine if he's not worth it, okay? Like, if they, they didn't buff his defense, right, and they change, didn't change his kit, so he's not as strong, okay, as I would like him to be. That's fine, right? That's not really something to complain about. That's just disappointing, all right? But for that, on top of that, 28 pulls? To make it the same as rare, uh, the same as a, um, a gold fake core in terms of rating and the amount of mileage that you need, that is not acceptable. Okay, that is not acceptable whatsoever, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I, I don't get it. Right, literally the only thing that he has different from like if you if they decide to design him as a as a black. Uh, fate core right is he wouldn't have that that buff for all red wasted heroes which honestly the buff is so minimal that you can just you can just get rid of that and give me my freaking zez man make the pity um 18 or whatever it's supposed to be so and i feel like the reason why they did this and they felt they could get away with it is because they did it for baraka right baraka I know they know we were hyped for Barack and we wanted Barack, all right? Which is why they feel like they can get away with it. Um, scumbag move, in my opinion. Not happy. Very disappointed. All around. Uh, like I said, I'll probably still pull for him um, because I'm not interested in Ramsey. Um, however, um, I'm, I'm not going to go to Pity. I have like 10,000 Zeds or something right now. That's half a pity. I'll probably just do those pulls and then be done. If I don't get them, I don't get them. Right? If I get them, cool. Um, but like I said, like for Machine Day, really nice still. But outside of that, like if you're going to go into some sort of PvE mode where you can take um, anybody and you need a Dragon Knight. Like if you wanted to take Baraka just because it's Baraka, like you take regular Baraka anyway, sure. But other than that, you're not going to take Brock. You'll take Rara. Okay, you'll take Rara. If you don't have Rara, you'll take FC Anastasia or FC Zeon. If you don't have those, even Baelish and Maggie are better. He's the weakest one PvE-wise overall. And PvP-wise, um, I can't say he's the weakest PvP-wise because regular Barak is really good at PvP, right? But, you know... The fate core version, I wouldn't say, is, is that much stronger. Right? Of course, the shield and everything, it, it will make him stronger, right? But um basically what I'm trying to say is you compare regular Baelish to the fate core Baelish, right? There's a huge power gap. That fate core makes him a lot stronger, a lot better. It's good for him. Same with Maggie. Um but when it comes to Baraka, the gap between normal Baraka and this Baraka, this first Guardian's Baraka, is a lot smaller, okay? And honestly, the gap between um, this first Guardian's Fate Core Baraka and the 
black fake or Baraka that's already in the game, fake or Baraka is above this one. Okay. Period. In my opinion. Anyway, that's it. Enough ranting. This is probably really, really long, even though, you know, there's not much content. It's not a big update. It's just a new banner. But uh, my disappointment is just absurd. Uh, I don't know what to say. All right. See you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.